Hi guys, this is Fatma Kasuri and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, any guesses where I am today? Have a look. I'm in Dubai. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this look. Are you excited? I am. So let's go. Laguna. So I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to make a fish face like this. Now I'm going to contour my nose. So I'm going to use this brush. So it's kind of, you can see it's kind of slanted. So it's from Sephora. So what you have to do is just kind of go down your nose and then um, you take some more of this powder and just go underneath your nose like that okay and um, then you can take the same brush if you want and just go a little bit under your chin So you can use any neutral color, anything like a skin color. So the one that I'm using today is uh, called Naked by Urban Decay. It's really good for like the base. So let's go. So underneath this eyeshadow, I've already put a concealer. Yeah. So just letting you know that. Beauty um, shadow palette to um, color my crease. So um, in this uh, palette, I'm going to be using a little bit. I'm going to mix. Okay, I don't know what people usually do, but I kind of experiment with colors. So um, what I'm going to be using on my crease here is I'm going to mix a little bit of this shy and a little bit of flamingo to give it a little bit of like a pinkish tinge on the crease so um, so for the brush that I'm using for this so um, the brush that I'm going to be using for this is this brush it's like a blending brush but um, I use it to apply the shadow too now the crease is right under your eyebrow so you have this bone here, so it's under this, so it's So next, next I'm gonna be using a little bit of the brown. Um, that's because I like my crease to be a little bit darker. Um, so for that, I'm gonna be using um, Buck from um, Naked um, Eyeshadow Palette. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you have this palette. It's like a very popular palette. Look, I've almost run out of colors in this. So anyways, for the crease, I'm going to be using, on top of the pink, uh, pinkish eyeshadow, I'm going to be using brown, like light brown. So this one is called Buck. take a second to think what eyeshadow I'm gonna apply right now. 
Okay, so I've decided what color I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be using this um, color from the Naked Palette. It's called Sidecore. So it's this one here. Okay, so you just take any eyeshadow brush, basically. And put it to, you know, where you made the crease, so you just have to fill that area in. shimmer but it's not too loud as you've already put like um, pink and stuff on the crease so um, you don't want to look like Christmas cake either I don't like that so this is a nice neutral color and um, it's shimmery okay so that's done now um, the next part is I'm gonna take um, the same brown buck but um, if you want a darker corner of your eye you can use a darker shade you can use black you can use dark brown you can use any dark color you can actually use any of these dark colors any of these dark colors so basically that's just your personal preference so I'm gonna start off with the brown because I feel that if I start with a very very dark color it's difficult to control it um, unless you're a professional makeup artist. I'm going to take the same brush, the blending brush that we used for the crease, and I'm going to start with the brown. Okay, next what I usually do is just take the same brush, don't the eyeshadow brush that you used um, to apply the this um, side card, the shimmery shadow. So don't apply more shadow, use the same brush. There's still product on this, yeah. So using the same brush without putting more shadow, kind of just go over it so the darker shades get blended with the lighter one. Now that's done, so next is um, the highlighter. Now I really like this highlighter, um, oh, it's by MAC and I've used it so much that I, there's no name behind it. Um, but it's like the highlighter by MAC and it's really really super pigmented. So I'm going to take like any small brush and basically just basically just put this here in the inner corner of the eyes. What this does is um, it makes your eye like open. It makes it look more open, uh, more bright. So especially if you're tired, um, you've had a long day and you need to go somewhere, this is a trick. So it will make you look more awake. And then again, just kind of blend it. Just blend your brush, make sure it's clean now. black one and I really like this and I, this is the one that I that I use all the time so I'll use it with this brush with the eyeliner brush for this look I'm going to be using kajol this is my favorite kajol um, it's the Hashmi kajol and I'm sure you all are very familiar with this. This is the best card. Okay, so um, next what I'm going to do is I want to give it like make it a little bit of like a smooth. 
smoky eye but without uh, making my eyelid black. I don't like too much black, too much dark um, eyeshadows on my eye. This is the maximum I go with. So um, I'm going to be using black eyeshadow underneath my eye. So uh, the one that I'm going to be using is uh, called Creep. It's called Creep and it's like a black shadow but it's a little bit shimmery black. So I'm going to take this brush. It's a very, very good brush, guys. Um, this is by um, Lancome, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's a really good brush. So I'm going to be using this black eyeshadow. And put it right here. by benefit. So first of all, I'm going to brush my eyebrows with the eyebrow brush. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do is, um, where's the brush? So I'm going to take this eyebrow brush and um, basically I don't like drawing too much on my eyebrows because it looks really, really artificial. But what I do like is that I, um, just like filling the gaps in my eyebrows with a powder. Um, if you understand what I mean, like I have a gap here, so I'll just go like. I really like the Charlotte Tilbury's blush ones. This one is called Ecstasy, and that's what it looks like. It's like a peachy pink. So you can wear it with pink undertones and you can wear it with the peach undertones. Um, it also does blushes in the center and then there's like kind of a shimmer around it. So using the blush and brush, this one. It won't look like weird. color so when if you have like um, a lot of eye makeup and other things going on with your outfit you should try to stick to like a neutral color like this one I'm gonna be using this fixing spray by MAC it's really good subscribe to my youtube channel yet which you should have done by now <laughs> anyways if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel yet please do so also do click the bell icon so every time i post a video you get notified till next time love you all bye